Hello, my name is Ferry and in this video I show you 20 theory questions from the CBR category Use of the Road. And if you think after this video I want to see all the videos, then you go to theorycourse.com there you can order the complete video course. Question number one. The car and caravan over here are together 8 meters long. Can the combination overtake in this lane? Yes or no? Well, the right answer is yes, he can. And I know there is something about on the motorway, two lanes or whatever. Okay, let me explain. Well, on a three or more lane motorway, drivers who are towing a trailer and when they are longer than seven meters and also lorries, are not permitted to use any other lane than the two innermost right-hand lanes. But this regulation shall not apply in cases where the vehicle is negotiating a change of lanes. Well, in this situation, we have two lanes in the direction of Den Haag, so lane 1 and lane 2, and we have two lanes in the direction of Amersfoort Utrecht, also lane 1 and 2. So in this situation, the car with the caravan longer than 7 meters may drive in line 1, 2 on the right side and also in lane 1 and 2 on the left side. So the, can, the combination can overtake here. Question number 2. You stop here to answer an important phone call. Is that allowed? Yes or no? The right answer must be. No, because at this broken yellow line, you can only stop to do two things. One of them is to stop and let passengers in or out of the car. And the second one is to load or unload goods. And all other things the CBR will ask to you, like answering an important phone call, ask for directions, sending a WhatsApp, sending a message. All those answers are no. Only passengers in and out of the car, or load and unload goods, nothing more. Question number three. You are waiting here for a passenger. Is that allowed? And the answer is no, that's not allowed. You may stop here, but only to immediately let passengers in or out of the car. And you cannot wait for the passengers. That's not allowed. Question number four, you want to turn to the left. Is your position on the road the correct position? Yes or no? And I think you know the right answer because the right answer is no. If from here is a car who wants to turn to the right, how can he drive into this road when your position is like this? You far to the left, you must drive more to the right. Well. He learns something uh, because he wants to turn left. Is the position on the road correct on this picture? In this case, you say yes, because other cars can drive into this road. So in this situation, his position is correct. And question number six, you want to turn left again for the third time. Is your position on the road correct? Yes or no? Well. Can you drive into this street? No, you can. Okay, then a position is not correct. Question number seven. When is the safest time to overtake this mobility scooter? Is it just answer A, just before the speed bump, just something like here? Is it answer B, just after the speed bump? Or is it answer C, at the passing place? And this is this place over here. You see this blue sign, maybe it's not so clear at the image, but this is a passing place. And the right answer is answer C at the passing place, because here is not enough room to overtake this mobility scooter. And just after the speed bump, also not enough room. And at the passing place, we have room enough to pass this mobility scooter. Question number eight. What is the speed limit on this road? 
Well, we have a white sign with blue letters in it says Denemark or Denmark. But it's not a country, it's a little, little, little village in the Netherlands. And the speed limit on this road is 80 kilometers per hour. Uh, in Dutch, it is a boerschap, and I think in English they call it a hamlet or a township. It's outside the built-up area, and outside the built-up area, the speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. Question 9 Ask you. You stop here to quickly let the passenger into the car. Is that allowed? Yes or no? Well, we can stop on a bus stop only to do one thing, let passengers in and out of the car, but still the answer is no, you cannot. And why not? We see the word lane, and here under is bus, and this lane is only for lane buses, scheduled buses. So you cannot drive on this lane, you cannot stop on this lane, you can do no nothing on this lane. Question number 10. You stop here to load the suitcases. Is that allowed? Yes or no? Well, we see a parking place for taxi drivers, but still the answer is yes, you can. Because if you cannot park here, you may do two things. You can let the passengers in and out of the car, and also you can load and unload goods. So, in this case, it's allowed to stop there. Question number 11. You stop here to load the suitcases again. Is that allowed? Yes or no? And in this case you say, no, you cannot, because here we see an image of a bicycle, and now it's a bicycle lane, and on a bicycle lane you cannot stop. Not on the bicycle lane, and also not on the carriage way next to the bicycle lane. So answer is no. And you stop here to load the suitcases, is that allowed? We see a parking place for the disabled persons. And still the answer is yes, because you may not park here, but still you can let passengers in and out of the car or load and unload goods. So the answer is yes. Question 13, you stop here to quickly let a passenger into the car, is that allowed? Yes or no? Well, what do we see here? The word bus. And are we a bus? No. Okay, if the answer is no, then we have to fill in no also, because we may not drive on this lane. And if you cannot drive in that lane, you can also not stop on that lane. Question 14. How many seconds is your minimum following distance at a speed of 100 km per hour? And I have heard of many people, they answer this question wrong at the CBR test because they fill in 50 or 55. 55 seconds. Then the car in front of you is almost in Utrecht. Huh? Seconds. If the road is dry, the weather is dry, and the road is in a good condition, your minimum following distance is always two seconds. And if the road is wet or the weather is not good, your following distance is more than two seconds. People think that CBR asks how many meters, but seconds is not the same as meters. And meters by a speed of 100, well, reverse this by two, so 100 by two is 50, 55 meters, but it's not meters, it's seconds. And seconds is just the answer two. Question 15. When do you reduce speed when you want to leave a motorway? Answer A. 300 meters before the exit. Answer B. On the exit. Or answer C. Just before the sharp bend on the exit. And the right answer is answer B. On the exit. Not 300 meters before the exit. And just before the sharp bend on the exit? Not every exit has a sharp bend. So, on the exit, you reduce speed. That's the right answer. Question number 16. 
Where are you not allowed to stop a car? Answer A on the carriage way of a priority road, answer B on the verge, or answer C on a crossing. And what is the right answer? The right answer is on a crossing. Because on the carriage way of a priority road, you can stop, you can park, you can do everything you want on the carriage way of a priority road. Only on the carriage way of a priority road outside the built up area, there you cannot park. But still, you can stop there to let passengers out, load and unload goods. And on the verge, you may park. So if you may park, you can also stop the car. But on a crossing, on an intersection, on a junction, or whatever word the CBR uses, there you cannot stop and let passengers out. Question 17. Where are you allowed to stop to let a passenger out of the car? Answer A. Along a yellow solid line. Answer B. At a bus stop. Or answer C. On the carriage way next to a bicycle lane. Well, right answer. At the bus stop. Because along a yellow solid line you cannot stop there, you may not stand still there, even not to let a passenger out. And on the carriageway and on the bicycle lane itself, you may not stop to let a passenger out. So, right answer is only answer B, at a bus stop. Question 18. Are you allowed to park on the left side of the carriageway on a one-way road? Answer A is yes. Answer B is no. And answer C, only if there are parking spaces on the left side. Well, right answer is yes, you can. Don't let the picture fool you with the sign of no parking on the left side. And don't look at the motorcycle and just read the question. Are you allowed to park on the left side of the carriageway on a one-way road? Not on this one-way road on a one-way road and on a one-way road and on a normal road you may park on the left side you may park on the right side as long as you're not a danger and we're finally there two questions left question 19 in what situation are you allowed to overtake on the right is it answer a in situation a on a rush hour lane or is it Answer B. In situation B, you may overtake a tram on the right. Or is it answer C. In situations A and B, you are allowed to overtake on the right. Well, if you are on a motorway and you want to overtake on the right, it can only be in two situations. The first one is, there must be a traffic jam, but I don't see a traffic jam. The second situation, I must drive right of the block markings and the other car left of the block markings, but I don't see a block markings. So situation A, no, not on the rush hour lane. And may I overtake a tram on the right? Yes, I may. So right answer, answer B. And the final question, you stop here to quickly let the passenger out of the car, is that allowed? Yes or no? And many people think, no, that's not allowed, you cannot stop on the tram rails, but the right answer is yes, you can. The law don't say you may not stop on the tram rails. On the train rails is something different, but on the tram rails you can stop. There are many, many, many trams who don't drive here anymore. And then you may even park there, but the question is not can you park here, the question is can you stop here to let a passenger out of the car, is this allowed? Yes, it is. And this were the 20 questions of this video, and I hope you became a little bit wiser. And if you want to see all the videos, order your video course on theorycourse.com. Hope to see you by the next video, thank you for watching, bye bye, ciao, adios.